After 18 days in space and nearly 7.6 million miles travelled, the X-4 crew is heading home. India's pilot Shubhanshu Shukla, Commander Peggy Whitson and two mission specialists undocked on Monday at 16.45 Indian Standard Time. The splashdown is expected off the California coast today around 15.01 IST. The mission marks a historic milestone, especially for India, ushering in a new era in human spaceflight. Reigniting national pride and marking a major step forward in India's human spaceflight journey, AX-4 mission pilot Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla, along with three other astronauts, entered the Dragon Gray spacecraft on Monday, leaving behind the International Space Station to begin his journey back to Earth. The hatch of the Dragon Gray spacecraft, connecting it to the International Space Station, was closed at 2.37 p.m. IST on Monday. Undocking with the ISS was completed at 4.45 p.m. Indian Standard Time. In a social media post, India's Minister for Science and Technology and Space, Dr. Jitendra Singh, said the entire nation eagerly awaits Shukla's safe return. Shukla's family expressed immense pride and joy ahead of his return on the 15th of July. They are planning a grand welcome, reflecting the nation's pride in his historic achievement. The 18-day stay aboard the ISS marks a milestone in India's space exploration. As part of the Axiom Mission 4, or AX-4, Shukla became the first Indian in 41 years to reach the ISS. During the mission, he conducted over 60 experiments, including 7 led by ISRO, focusing on microgravity research, covering sustainable space agriculture, crop resilience, microbial adaptation, and muscle regeneration. The AX-4 mission, a collaboration between ISRO, NASA, Axiom Space and SpaceX, marked India's return to human spaceflight after more than four decades. Launched on the 25th of last month, the mission saw Indian Air Force pilot Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla make history. On Sunday before undocking, the AX-4 crew participated in a farewell ceremony aboard the ISS. Shukla said, 41 years ago, an Indian astronaut described what India looked like from space. And now, people are eager to know what India looks like today. Today's स्पेस से महत्वाकांक्षी दिखता है आज का भारत निडर दिखता है आज का भारत कॉन्फिडेंट दिखता है आज का भारत गर्व से पूर्ण दिखता है और इन्हीं सब कारणों की वजह से मैं एक बार फिर से कह सकता हूं कि आज का भारत अभी भी सारे जहां से अच्छा दिखता है शुक्ला पार्टिसिपेशन इज अ की माइलस्टोन फॉर इंडिया स्पेस एंबिशंस पर्टिकुलरली द गगनयान प्रोग्राम ऑन द 28th ऑफ जून Prime Minister Narendra Modi interacted with Group Captain Shukla via video conferencing and said that his mission and experience would significantly contribute to India's space journey. आप तो मुझे भली भांति जानते हैं जब भी किसी से बात होती है तो मैं होमवर्क जरूर देता हूं हमें मिशन गगनयान को आगे बढ़ाना है हमें अपना खुद का स्पेस स्टेशन बनाना है और चंद्रमा पर भारतीय एस्ट्रोनॉट की लैंडिंग भी करानी है इन सारे मिशंस में आपके अनुभव बहुत काम आने वाले हैं आफ्टर लैंडिंग ग्रुप कैप्टन शुक्ला एंड द क्रू विल अंडरगो सेवन डे रिहेबिलिटेशन प्रोग्राम अंडर द सुपरविजन ऑफ फ्लाइट सर्जन टू रीएडजस्ट टू अर्थ ग्रेविटी एंड कंडीशन रविंद्र चौहान रिपोर्ट डी डी इंडिया Alright, DD India, Siddharth Bhardwaj joins us to talk more on this. Uh, Siddharth, uh, SpaceX Dragon capsule carrying the Axiom 4 crew has undocked from the International Space Station, splashed down at around 3 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Uh, tell us how significant was this mission in terms of scientific experiments or milestones achieved aboard the ISS? A very good morning to you, Abhishek. And certainly, uh, we can say that this is a very significant uh, mission. Uh, you had just heard the Prime Minister saying, you know, when we, when he had a conversation with Shubhanshu Shukla, when Shubhanshu Shukla was there at the ISS, he said that, uh, you know, he has given him a homework. You know, there's, there was uh, some other conversations, which also meaningful conversations, uh, which also took place in which Shubhanshu Shukla told that what all experiments he would be doing, which will be a further, um, you know, benefiting from agriculture sector to the space sector. So, yeah, in that manner, uh, this is a very significant uh, 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 mission. And, you know, a proud moment moment for the entire country, for the entire 1.4 billion people who are awaiting Shubhanshu Shukla's return. 
uh, in fact, ministers, some ministers have also tweeted, uh, you know, uh, wishing all the best to Shubhanshu Shukla. And the entire nation uh, today is praying for Shubhanshu Shukla's return uh, when this capsule will be uh, splashed down off the coast of California. Um, you know, there are two parts. You know, number one, Abhishek, is this. What is the entire procedure from undocking to the splashdown? And number two is that, uh, you know, what all will happen after the splashdown? And also one part more is that what is the significance of, his mission, of, of this particular mission. So coming to my point number one, that what is the entire procedure. We all saw the undocking happening, you know, which happened yesterday. After that, you know, there are several steps, several phases which the capsule will go through. Uh, number one is the is the depart burn zero. There are four burns in total which will take place till the splashdown. Number one is the depart burn zero, followed by the second depart, which is a very crucial. You know, uh, after separating, physically separating from the ISS, what happens is that the capsule goes into an orbit, aligning itself uh, to its destined place, which, like I said, is off coast of California. After that, you know, uh, there are several more phases which take place and during the final phases, the capsule will, uh, you know, jettison its trunk, its radiators and of course its household solar panels. Uh, after that, one crucial phase is there. Uh, uh, you know, this capsule will plunge into the upper layer of the atmosphere and it is uh, likely to be heated around uh, like 1600 to 1700 degrees Celsius and during that phase, Abhishek, that's a very crucial phase, uh, there will be absolute blackout, uh, you know, when it comes to the communication because that capsule is covered with the ionic gases preventing it from the heat and after that the splashdown will take place once it does, you know, we all know that it's expected around 3 p.m. IST, but you know, time may vary. But then when it happens, um, there are uh, rescue, uh, there are there are uh, ships, you know, which will be there uh, with, with the fast boats and medical team and all the technical team. Uh, then what will happen that that capsule will be lifted via hydraulic cradle and then uh, the astronauts will be assisted a medical checkup will be done on board uh, on board the ship and then they will via uh, helicopter or via uh, a waterway will go to you know Houston and then further medical checkups uh, will be done and uh, there will be rehabil rehabilitation phase which will go for about seven days uh, you know because when you are in when you're not in gravity when you're in space uh, so the bone density also reduces you know you get a baby like skin and there are several other challenges which astronauts face uh, so to recuperate from that a rehabilitation phase will take place which will go till around uh, you know seven days so definitely all okay. in all Abhishek it's a very significant um, uh, mission uh, and also a proud moment for India as far as the experiments are concerned coming on to this so coming on to my third point you know uh, these experiments which Shubhanshu Shukla did in space will certainly help like I said from agriculture sector to the space sector why uh, because uh, he, he experimented you know with, with uh, he, he uh, made several experiments one of which is this study of space microalgae and their potential for food processing their potential for oxygen and also biofuel so imagine uh, this is just one of the experiments which Shubhanshu Shukla did he, he, he also uh, did centrifugation of so, apart from among uh, apart from other experiments uh, which he conducted in space so uh, these goes on to show that how these will help uh, and uh, you know humans and also humans in space because he also conducted an experiment of uh, digestion in space and also mental okay. well-being of astronauts which is very very important Abhishek and yes. you know we all cannot cannot forget the farewell message of Shubhanshu Shukla which, in which he said that today's India looks confident, uh, today's India looks fearless and full of pride and also said that today's India is Sare Jahan Se Acha. So we cannot just forget that, you know, uh, and it certainly goes on to show, speaks volumes in fact about the fact that Absolutely, how, Siddharth, how everyone in fact program, is waiting uh, with you bated know, is breath shining on the global map. Splashdown time and, is 3pm uh, yeah. Indian Sun yeah. time. We'll leave it at that. Thank you for your input, Siddharth.